Hey there, welcome back to the Dev Channel Max Codes. Today I'm going to show you how we can use mix ins in SCSS. All right, welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how to use mix ins in SCSS right now. And it's going to be really short because it's actually very, very simple. Okay. But I just wanted to kind of give you a visual guide. All right. So what you're going to want to do is go to this uh, link that's in the description if you want to look at the actual like documentation of CSS SAS. And uh, you're also going to want to go to codepen.io and just create a new pen or just use a uh, Visual Studio Code or whatever you use with SCSS. But if you don't have an SCSS dev environment set up on your desktop, just go ahead and go to CodePen because it's really easy to set up. Okay. All right. So what we're going to want to do is create a new pen and then hit the setting icon on the CSS tab. Okay. And then go ahead and choose your CSS preprocessor and select SCSS. Okay. Hit save and close and now we have SCSS. All right, so let's go ahead and just write some HTML. Let's say div, div, and let's just say class is, and we'll use CSS grid, we'll say grid, and then we'll say div, and we'll say header for the class. And then we will say, we'll give it a body. We'll say class is equal to body. And then we'll be using a footer as well. So we'll say classes footer. And then let's just go ahead and throw this on the grid. So we'll say header, body, and footer. We'll call this content, not body. So we'll say content. And then we'll go, go into our SCSS here and we'll say dot grid. And then let's just start off by creating our grid. And let's, buy, let's say display is grid. Grid template rows is 1fr, 1fr, 1fr. And let's actually change these two front and back 1fr's to 50 pixels. So we'll say 50 pixels, 1fr, and 50 pixels. And let's just say height is 100% and width is 100%, okay? I'll show you why we're using grid here. It's basically so we can utilize a mix-in, okay? So what we're gonna do is cut out the height and width and go up to the top and just say at mix-in width height 100 and paste that in there okay so you declare a mixin by using the at and then writing mixin and then doing that okay and then basically we can just go ahead and give this grid a background of blue and then now we can say at include to include our mixin so we'll say width height 100 and hit save Okay, so that's gonna put that in. Let's cut our background blue and put it into the mix-in. And you can see it includes it now, okay? Let's change this 100% uh, to 100 view height and this 100 uh, width to be 100 view width, okay? So as you can see, if we get rid of this mix-in, we no longer have that 100 and 100. Let's put the background color back in and let's save it, okay? Now let's add in our mix-in and you'll see it goes to 100. Cool, I wanna try something real quick. I'm not sure if this will even work, but. Mm, thought it might transition into it, but that was just out of my own curiosity. All right, so that's how you use a mix-in. Now, one thing I wanna do is I want to basically show you how to use variables in mix-in. Say we only want this height to go half the way, something like 50 view height, like that, except for we're gonna use it in multiple areas, right? We can do that with uh, variables by going, variable parameters, by going up to this width and height 100% and putting in some parentheses and then saying height with a dollar sign in front of it, okay? So it's like a variable in SCSS. If you're curious about variables in SCSS, I've made a video on variables as well that you can find on my channel somewhere near this video. It might be in the description, but I'm uploading this today and I'm not doing a variable one yet. So by the time you're watching this, you're probably gonna see, it's probably gonna be in the description. So I just check the description. Okay, so height, and then we'll just have it by default. We'll just say height like that, okay? And then basically what's gonna happen is we'll replace it here. And if we save that, it's not really gonna work because we didn't provide that because this is required to provide. We have to provide it. So let's go to our height 100 down here at the bottom on line 11 and just say height. And we'll say 50 view height. And you're gonna see it works now. But if we get rid of that and notice how it doesn't work, we can provide a default value to height by saying like 100 view height. And then it's going to be default and you don't always have to use 
that variable. So if that doesn't make sense, just keep watching and uh, go back and watch what I just said again because it'll click eventually and just start using mixins, okay? So we'll make it by default 50 view height, but then we'll go in here and we'll provide a view height of 75 view height. Notice it will automatically assume that it's for height, right? But if we were to put another variable in here and say width before our height and then say zero view width, you're gonna see it's kind of weird. It's kind of strange, okay? It's taking in the 75 view height and applying it to the width. So we can have it be zero view width by default on width, but if we still wanna provide that 75, we just have to say height. And then that's that'll work, okay? And we also have to change this width to take in width instead of be default 100 view height, okay? We can also swap these and at the bottom say width after height and just say like 50 view width, okay? Obviously it makes more sense to put the width before it if uh, put the variable that comes first before the next variable, but you can do whatever you want. Okay, so that's just a brief introduction to uh, mix-ins. If this video helped you, leave a like and uh, subscribe. And let me know if you want more of these really short ones, because this is obviously a very short video, but I feel like uh, for really tiny concepts like this, it could be helpful for some people. So yeah, just let me know on Twitter at MaxCodes1 or on YouTube or Instagram what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.